Good afternoon, friends. Hope you're having a good day. It is a hot one today. Woof! Getting a little toasty. So, I'm going to do a quick unboxing of this locomotive. I wish I would have received it in the mail yesterday. I would have done it with the uh, unboxing I did yesterday. But, it came in today, so I figured, let's do a quick one. And then, uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, later on, I'm going to do... A, a live servicing of the USA Express, which is a beautiful locomotive. And we are going to service uh, something with uh, an M2U motor, early Mantua motor, um, and along with the uh, power torque pancake motor. So we're going to do both on our live. Um, and that'll be in about half an hour or so after I get done with this. Um, so let's get to it. This one here came from someone who I have bought a locomotive before uh, through an auction. Mr. Derwin C. Irwin from Lebanon, New Hampshire. So I'm thinking he did a fantastic job packing it like he did with the uh, Rio Grande. And... Let's see. Like I said, my concern is always with those ends. You know, you can pack the frame up pretty good, but you got to get those ends also protected. So let's see here. Same style packing. He cradled it. It looks really nice. And let's see. All right. What is this one here? What did we get this time? As a matter of fact, uh, here is the Rio Grande that I bought, and his son actually left a comment on this uh, video that we did. He says, hey, you know, you bought this from my dad. And I'm like, wow, this thing turned out to be a big hit. Rio Grande right here. Beautiful. Beautiful Rio Grande. So we are going to change the coupler out. It does have a screw, so we'll even do that on our live uh stream in a few minutes right now let's see what we got here and yes sir -y. yes sir -y. look at this this is a norfolk southern in um in a gp20 now, it looks like this is a repaint, but man, it's super nice. It looks really nice. He did a good job. Decals are put on real nice. Look at the front there, right? So, of course, you know, we couldn't match the 2008 uh, number board up there, but he kind of filed it down, made it clear. And uh, this is a really nice GP20. In fact, this is a old school power torque. We got a power torque going on here, so which I kind of like because I don't I don't mind servicing these. The uh, wheels need to be cleaned a little bit for sure, like anything else. But the traction tires look like they're still pretty good. And, uh, man, you know, looks pretty damn good. I like it, you know. Save me the time of doing um, something like this. I don't like to do repaints. Um, even put uh, hand, uh, hand holds on the, on the back, the steps on the back of the uh, locomotive here. So... It's a big hit. As a matter of fact, let's just throw it on. Uh, let's throw it on the uh, test track here, real quick. See what see what we got. See what we got. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. All right. Let's see. Throw some power. And do I have power? Yep, I got power. 
Okay, now now that I remember, this one, uh, the description said it wasn't running. So, that said, and I'm okay with that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole motor apart. And I could see the problem right now. There is a broken wire to one of the... Um, one of the brushes super easy fix super easy fix might do that on the live stream too why not right get this thing going so okay well mr derwin thank you very much um and uh stay tuned for the live uh feed if you miss it if you miss the notification don't worry it'll it'll pop up uh, later on under uh, under the live section of my channel and then you'll be able to review the uh, the the live stream you know whenever you you know whenever you have a chance so okay folks that's it for right now and uh, let's get hot and move towards uh, doing a live stream here in about half an hour all right have a good one